A few weeks ago, I participated in a Case the Creator collaboration and found a set of cards and a gift box that inspired me to make a set of my own. Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik and I am so thrilled with how that box and set of cards turned out. I'm making another set with you in this video. I have a link to my blog post with details on the Case project in the description box. I found a tutorial for a flap box on another blog and I have a link to that project there as well. But I wanted an A2 size gift box as A2 is my preferred size of cards to make and so I played with the measurements and came up with this one. Um, I made this box uh, and it has magnets that hold the cover down and I used this set of Stargazer um, foil paper from the Paper Studio for the box and also for all the cards that I'm going to share with you today. And in this set, I used um, this paper on the box and one of the cards and all of these are thank you cards. Um, this butterfly die is from Tim Holtz and I have a punch that um, I'm just loving. It's from EK Success and of course links to all the products I've used will be in the description but it punches out four butterflies at the same time all in different shapes and I don't know I use butterflies on a lot of my cards so um, one of the pieces of paper in that same stargazer set were used to make this butterfly and that punched butterfly and then I have some favorite gems from Gina Marie designs and the sentiments on this set are from Penny Black so what I did was um, the set that I was looking at as my inspiration was a very clean and simple card with the strip of designer paper and butterflies there and so that's what I did and then I put some of that same designer paper on the envelope so um, here's another thank you um, another paper um, with matching envelopes and uh, a thank you sentiment a sentiment and again um, with this blue and then this purple with the foil accents which I am just loving so that's the first set that I made and I'm going to show you how I made the box and um, another set of cards. So um, this is the template that I have um, figured out um, to make a um, A2 sized box. So um, you are going to have a piece of uh, paper that's going to be 10 inches wide by um, eight and a half inches this way so it's ten by eight and a half and on the larger piece and I'm going to go through this with the pieces we're going to score at one two eight and nine so on the longer side and then you're going to flip it and you're going to score at five and a half and six and a half and then you're going to cut some of those pieces away and again we'll go through that step by step um, and this is the top of the box and it is six inches wide by eight and three quarters um, this way and then um, we scored it at three and four inches and then the pattern pieces that go on top of the box are five and three quarters by one and three quarters and five and three quarters by four and a half so um, those are these two pieces that we're going to use on this box the patterned pieces So I am using my scoring tool, my larger one, um, and this is the larger piece of paper, and I need my own folder, which is kind of hidden here. <clears throat> so again, we have 10 by 8 and a half, and we're going to score it at 1. and two and eight and nine and then you're going to turn it and you're going to score it at five and a half 
and six and a half. I'm going to do all the scoring so I can move the scoring tool. So um, the top piece, the long way, we're going to score at three and four. So this, looking at it this way, we're going to score at three inches and four inches. And so um, looking at the template here, um, I'm going to do some folding and then some cutting. So now um, we are going to cut away these two rectangle boxes on both sides. And then we're also going to cut this outside little square away. And then we're going to continue cutting along that line to make this little tab. So again, cut the outside square off and then cut along that line, which will make a tab and you can see how that is going to fold up and create a box. Now we are going to um, round the corners and also up here. And then we are going to do our folding on this piece. And this is going to fit in here and hold that top in place and we're going to round the corners of this as well. Now we're going to put some tape And that piece is going to go to the top and sides of the inside and then that's going to hold that in place. And then we're going to put um, strong tape on the tabs and um, to put the box together. Now I use both score tape as you saw and then sometimes I use the red liner tape and I guess it just depends. I just want this to be super strong so I am um, 
using the red liner tape on these because this is going to hold the box totally together. So you're going to um, attach it there. And there. And then we're going to put tape. I maybe should have done that before, but we'll manage. <clears throat> along this piece here too. I suppose you can't see that, but I'm putting tape along the both sides of that bottom piece so that it uh, connects to the um, side piece here. So our box is formed. Now, um, I have the pieces of the um, pattern paper ready to go, but before we put those on, um, we're going to put the magnets on. Now, I use these small magnet magnetic discs um, from Basic Gray for this. And I I need two positives and two negatives. I have two of these together here. I, I have this, um, I have done this before, but sometimes I get a little confused. So I wrote it down, but the negatives are going to go on the top side with the adhesive down. So there's adhesive, oh, look at that, that one's broken. Isn't that interesting? I didn't know that magnets could break. I right, need another negative. All right, so we're going to put the negatives, take the paper off, the adhesive, and put the negatives on the top side with the adhesive down in a place that we know that that pattern paper is going to cover it. And then when I put the positives on, it didn't work to um, use the adhesive. So what I'm doing is I'm just leaving that paper right on there. Um, and so this is the positives and they're sticking. Um, so now I need a glue dot to put. on those. And then we're going to put those down and push on them and Try to get those to stay and then reinforce those. So it will close. And now we're going to cover those magnets up with our pretty pattern paper.
and these pieces are five and three quarters by one and three quarters and five and three quarters by four and a half. And then I of course rounded the bottoms on these as well. And we need to get this started some more. There we go. our pretty stargazer paper. And then I have for you and then one of my butterflies and um, this for you is a layered uh, sentiment strip die from Tonic Studios. I love all of those and I think I have every one of them. Now on the butterflies I like the wings to be up and the body to be down so um, I'm going to use another glue dot and put a glue dot in the center body part. And then I have these little strips, uh, foam strips from Motion Crafts that will raise the wings and um, it will stick. And so you press the body down and then the wings stay up um, with those uh, motion pieces, motion crafts. And then I always figure you have to have gems on butterflies and they just really are a nice touch. So um, our uh, box for this one is complete. Now the um, cards um, are made quite simply again, um, but in this case I have chosen um, different sentiments from this Brushed Wishes um, stamp set from Stampendous. So I have Happy Birthday to Cheer You, Have a Happy Day, and Thank You. So there's four different um, sentiments for these cards. Um, I have the matching envelope again and the same um, designer paper that I used on the box. Um, another butterfly. Um, so um, we're simply this is a two inch strip. It's a little long right now, but I deliberately cut it that way so that um, I can trim it off and have it be perfect. And then I have another um, butterfly um, cut out from some of that Stargazer um, paper and we're going to use another glue dot on that on the body and some more skinny strips that will raise the wings. So the body is down and the wings are up a little. And doing the same with a small butterfly from uh, one of those punches, one, uh, a punched butterfly. And a couple of gems. 
These are my favorite gems from Gina Marie Designs, and I use them all the time. And what I really like about them is that they're sparkly, and they have three different sizes. So um, I often use one large, medium, and small um, on my cards, but in this case I'm using a medium and two smalls, one for the butterfly, and then one just because, the, you know, the rule of three, and also to just draw attention to the sentiment. So um, this is one of our cards with that really pretty stargazer paper, and you can never go wrong with a lot of butterflies, and a matching envelope. And then um, I have completed a couple more. Um, this one says, have a happy day. Um, pretty butterflies, gems, to cheer you, and another pretty stargazer paper, and thank you. So that set of cards will make a perfect gift for someone, and we're going to put it in the box, and then close the magnets, and um, we have a lovely gift um, for um, a friend or relative, anyone that might like some handmade cards. These cards are clean and simple and easy to make, but also pretty to give as a gift, especially with the lovely matching box. I hope they've inspired you to try the A2 sized box and matching cards for someone special in your life who would love the gift of your handmade cards. Thanks for watching, subscribing, sharing, and thanks too for helping me share the joy of creativity.